Hey everyone, welcome back to this week's episode of Working Class Music. I am Jason, literally just rolled out of bed to do this, and it's gonna be awesome, Maze. So, a big thing for me here is uh, recording demos, not only for the show, but for my band and everything else. And I've had my eye a little bit on the Personas 4.5 inch Bluetooth speakers. Years ago, I had the uh, 3.5s, and I felt like they were the best experience I had in terms of demoing, and they were just so flat and clear, and I love that you could EQ them to the room. So I told my friend Dustin, who you might know as the drummer for the Ataris, but he also works for Personas. I told him about this situation and you know, the speakers I was using now, and you know, he was just like, hold off, hold off. You know, we might have something down the line. And sure enough, they did. Thus this unboxing video, because we just got a set of the brand new Era Studio 4s. I've never seen them, never heard them, nothing. So we're just gonna go into this blind with this super cool unboxing. So, on to the unboxing. You got a knife? Yes, I do. It looks like it's a box within a box. Unboxception. There's one. Let's grab the other one. So do they always come in pairs? Yes, uh, bigger studio monitors you have to buy separately as individuals. The ones that connect together like with the bare cable, those usually come in pairs. But regular studio monitors, they're individual. So yeah, these are the box within a box. They actually went with a new design, which is pretty cool as far as the box art goes. So yeah, we didn't come here for the box. We came here for the speaker. So let's take these suckers out. So. We got the little stuff. We got the little padding for the feet for the low end buildup so it's not booming on, on your desk. It's, it's not gonna vibrate itself right off. Of yeah. Oh, son of that could have been a baby's head. Yeah, so if you're making uh, some hot trap beats, they won't go anywhere. Oh, wow. There's already some things that I noticed that they tweaked that uh, I'm curious to play with. Look at this, they, they taped it to the, <laughs> they taped it, oh, I don't know. They taped it to the bag. Oh, it looks like it's the same design. It looks like they did update it though. I'm curious, but here's the, here's the kicker. We're gonna look at the back. So you get that so that you see that you can tune it to your room however you want. So if you're in a smaller room, you can tune it however you want, which is pretty cool. I do like the addition that you can go from RCA to quarter inch to XLR. I usually recommend XLR just because of the ground pin, but that's just me, I'm old. But yeah, these look killer. I'm stoked to try them. So there will probably be an update video after this, you know, seeing how they work within a studio environment and seeing if they're up to the par of my favorite ones. What are your favorite ones? The 4.5s, like as far as demoing goes, those are the best speakers I've encountered for my purposes. So yeah, thanks for watching this. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite studio monitors. I don't know the price of this. I'm sure, you know, you can use our affiliate links. So yeah, thanks again. Laters.
those are the best speakers I've encountered for my purposes. Are those the ones we already have a video on? No, that's another brand. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll cut that part yeah. out. <laughs>